And now join us here on the Inland Sports Show as we get you all set for the 2023 high school football season. These guys are coming off a breakout year, and it's always better in local football when Fohai is good. They made it to the playoffs. They won a playoff game, and the Steelers are back for more. Join us here on the show, head coach Eric Gonzalez, and a couple of his guys as well. But Coach Gonzalez, let me start with you first before we take a look at this upcoming season. Man, last year, to see Fontana winning some football games, get into the playoffs, win a playoff game, um, do you feel like the, the the foundation is has been laid for Fontana to kind of, you know, creep back into the conversation of league titles and maybe CIF runs and all those all those good things you guys coach and play for? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to be be here and be part of the Full High Legacy um, I'm well, I'm well aware of that legacy. I played against them in, throughout my high school career and in the early '90s. So to be a part of the Fohai story is was important to me. It's important to me that I leave this place better than when I found it. Um, when I got here, you know, there's been some good coaches that come through, but you know, the program really struggled and it was kind of falling apart. And you know, one of the mandates from admin was, you know, we gotta all our other programs on campus are doing well. We gotta get football back up there. Um, and so that was that was my mission and that's been my mission uh to get full high where it needs to be um you know battling for league titles battling for playoff spots uh praying to the football gods uh you know a ring uh but that's those are all in our plans right now um you know everything's going well uh culture i think culture has been set you know it, it's been a long road you know i got hired uh five weeks before the first pandemic hit um and so i met the team through zoom the first time and, and then we didn't play a whole year and then we came off that and they offered us a COVID year and I wasn't interested in doing that. And so, you know, by the time we played, you know, we hadn't spent any time on the field together. So that first year was real rough, you know, but it was real important to me to establish culture. And that's what we were doing, you know, reestablishing the weight room culture, reestablishing the classroom culture and the academics, um, reestablishing, uh, you know, all those things. And, and then because of that, everything's kind of fallen in line. And I really feel like, and my assistant coaches as well, you know, we feel like we're going in the right direction right now and uh, we're going to make some noise and we're going to be a problem for some people. So Coach sure. Gonzalez, based on last year's success, do, does that kind of raise the standard now going into 2023? You're like, hey, because I'm, I'm sure you've got some returners and you've got some good ones too. Like, hey guys, last year was fun and it was great to get to the playoffs. How, how do we take that next step? How do we get to the next level? Do you feel like 2023 uh, could be another stepping stone? And again, the rise of Fontana football again. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. It's it's another it's another chapter in our story. Um, and our story hopefully ends week 14 or, or even beyond. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the kids got a taste of winning last year, uh, and, and that taste of winning has established that, that winning culture that, you know, that, that little bit of a winning swagger, you know, I mean, obviously we haven't, you know, we didn't do a whole lot. We, you know, we didn't win the title or anything like that, but where, where we, from where we were to where we are now, we're, it's night and day. Um, and, uh, we're a different team. I mean, uh, you, you. The team from when I first showed up, you wouldn't even recognize us, you know, and just kind of how we operate, you know, and, and everything's been established. And so the kids are hungry. Uh, the kids want to win. The kids are excited. Um, the kids have been working really, really hard this offseason. Um, and, uh, you know, we're using we're using last year's successes and failures as the, the next stepping stone, the next platform to to our success uh, this coming year. Yeah. So everybody's really hungry. Everybody's really excited around here. Um, you know, we're going to have a brand new uh, turf stadium here pretty soon. And uh, so uh, all, the, all the things are kind of falling into place here. All right, Coach, I know you've got some players with you as well. You want We'll do one by one, but why don't you introduce the first guy and, uh, and put them on camera okay. for us. Okay, so our first one is going to be uh, – uh, what you're going to find too, sorry, Pat, what you're going to find too for us is like, – I, I don't care what grade you're in, you're going to play. So a lot of our guys have been playing since they were like freshmen and sophomores on varsity, right? So this guy's uh, two years. So we got Rashawn Williams coming up. He's our starting tailback, uh, starting DB. Um, all league two years in a row um, as a freshman and sophomore. So now going into his junior year. So this is Rashawn Williams. Man, Rashawn, you're already a, you're a seasoned veteran, man. You're you're what going into your junior year. You're already a varsity veteran. Uh, what are your goals for this season? Uh, my goal for the season is to win all home games. I really want to mark our field with our new field coming out and just just play good. 
tell tell coach let's run the football right fo high football <laughs> pounded on the ground right but <laughs> hey, you know, you know, last year, again, I was talking to Coach about it. You guys had a successful season. You made it to the playoffs. You won a playoff game. Does that get you guys hungry and more excited about going into this season? Yeah, like we got to – the standards are higher now. Like you were just saying, we just got to eat and just keep pushing. And what do you think the keys are to just getting victories this year? I mean, Coach talked about changing the culture about – you know, the weight room and, and getting it done in the classroom and all those sorts of things. But what do you think is important to make a successful winning season? I say about everybody being on the same page, like the whole team wanting to eat and wanting to win <laughs> and keep on coming to practice every day and working. That's awesome, man. Hey, best of luck this season. I appreciate you jumping on the show. Let me go back to Coach Gonzalez here, Coach, because I know you got a Thank number you. of guys. I want to make sure uh, we make a couple yeah. minutes for each of them. Uh, introduce your next guy, Coach. All right, who's ready? Mr. Camacho. So we got uh, Ruben Camacho, who's going to be uh, running Q for us this year. Um, he's got some wheels. Um, he's got on, got an arm, and uh, he'll be exciting to watch this year. But this is uh, Ruben Camacho. <clears throat> Rube, what's up, man? So you're going to be engineering that faux high offense this upcoming season. Do you guys have big goals? Do you feel feel like you know the standard has been raised going into this season? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, for sure, for sure. Uh, Offense is looking pretty good, too, this year. You know, offensively, you know, I don't want you guys to give away all your secrets, but, like, are you guys a pass-first team? Are you a run-first team? Or do you think you'll be pretty balanced this season? I think we're going to be pretty ba uh, balanced this season. We got good receivers. We got good tailback. So it's going to be half and half, I feel like. Ruben, what have you guys been doing this summer to get better? I don't know if Coach Gonzalez is into the seven-on-seven seven thing. Some coaches are, some aren't. But what have you guys been doing this summer? I don't know if it's seven-on-seven, seven, hitting the weight room, going to the beach together as a team. I don't know what you guys do. But what do you feel like you guys are doing to come together and be better and, and be ready for that first game of the season? I feel like we've just been here every day. Like, we're just working. All our guys are working. Just putting right. in the work. Finally, Ruben, you know, finally, you know, who's your favorite NFL quarterback? And what would you do to try to emulate his style? Like, what do you think makes a great quarterback? A, a leader, a guy who can throw the deep ball, a guy who, a quarterback that can run. What do you think? Who's your favorite NFL quarterback? And what do you think makes him good that you try to emulate? My favorite NFL quarterback is for sure Lamar Jackson right now. He has like, he's pretty balanced with his arm, his wheels. He's just fast. He's a good leader, too. All right, the Lamar Jackson of the IE guys, Ruben Camacho right here. Ruben, I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Let me go back to Thank Coach you. Gonzalez. I think we've got another guy or two. Um, Coach, yeah, we're talking yeah, about offense yeah. here. Who, who's on deck? Who's next? Uh, we're gonna You're going to talk to a kid, uh, Jose Lopez. He's going to be a senior this year. He's going to be running our, our tight end position, which we call a wing. Um, he's, he's I'm excited about him. He, he should have been out there with us last year. He had some health issues, but now he's all ready to go. Uh, he's 100%, and uh, he's going to be exciting. You better keep your eye on this kid. Uh, he's kind of like the, the Travis Kelsey of uh, the IE here. Right? Holy, holy the smokes, does he always have the Lamar Jackson of the and IE Jackson. and the Travis Kelsey of the IE? This is going to be a good team. Uh, Jose, let me ask you. I mean, you got the you got the Fontana you know, logo. It says Fontana Steelers right there on your shirt. Are you guys – do you feel like you're restoring some pride in that faux high football program because – you know, if you're old, if you're old like me, I got the gray hairs to show it. But if you if you're old like me, you remember Fo High was like the team. Do you feel like you guys are trying to restore that legacy? You know, taking those baby steps to do that. Definitely. All all you want to do is get better every day. You know, coach says we got to compete every day, get one percent better every day, and that's our goal. So what what are some like realistic goals, Jose? I mean, do you guys feel like hey, we should be in the mix for a league championship? We're hoping to have a winning record. We might, you know, win a playoff game or two this coming season. What kind of what kind of goals do you think this team should have this year? Our goal is really is to get far, get the ring. That's what all the boys want, and that's what we've been we've been practicing for, giving a hundred percent effort all day. And Jose, you know, coach was just saying that you missed last season. Um, coming back this year, do you do you enjoy it more? Do you do you appreciate football more? Not you know being able to not play last year. Do you feel like man, I'm I'm gonna really enjoy this experience this year? Well, that actually really did like reset my brain. It made me like it made me thankful that I could actually play and enjoy the sport.
Awesome, Jose. I appreciate the time. Repping Fontana right there. Uh, Coach Gonzalez, let me yep. go back to you again. Do we have one more? We got one more. We got one more, Pep. You want to talk to this one. He's going to be on the radar for a while. Uh, so we got uh, receiver DB. Uh, was a breakout freshman last year. He's going to be a breakout sophomore this year. Uh, he's going to make a lot of noise. Uh, Akari Augustine. Uh, you need to keep your eye on him. So he was all league last year, too, as a freshman. Kari, what's what's cracking, man? Dude, listen, you go to a, as a freshman playing varsity football. Were you last year? Were you, I don't know, nervous or timid or anything like that? You just or you just go out there and say, "Let's go." Uh, I wasn't nervous. I've been doing this my whole life. You know, I just go out playing. God, really, I'm just thankful. You know, Kari, last year, you know, obviously you played as a freshman and you guys, you know, won some football games and and made it to the playoffs. Are there other guys on the team like you who are maybe freshmen or sophomore or juniors who are coming back? Do you have a lot of guys from last year's team that are returning this year? Yes, we do. Um, yeah, we have a great chemistry with everybody. We played together last year. We lost a few seniors, though. And yeah, we got a good squad with us this year. You know, the, the all-league or all-CIF honors are awesome, but at the end of the day, what's important to you? Is it the league championships? Is it, is it maybe making a deep run in the CIF playoffs? Like, what's important to you? Uh, get in the ring at the end of everything, really. All right, Kari. So we got the uh, the uh, the Travis Kelsey of the IE and the Lamar Jackson of the IE, uh, all at full high. Who, who knew? Uh, so Kari, who, who's your NFL comp? Like, who who do you like? Okay, I kind of play like this guy. Odell, Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> you like the one handed catches, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Car, hey, let, best of luck this season as a sophomore, man. Uh, really uh, excited to see you pop off this year. Yeah, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Let me go back to Coach Gonzalez to wrap this all up as we're talking faux high football here on the Inland Sports Show. Coach, again, going back to last season, yeah. does it get you excited going into this year? Just based on the success you had, you've got some guys who got great experience last year coming back. Does it kind of get you excited about – you know, where you guys might end up at the end of the year? Yeah, I mean, last year, you know, we were, we were what, a, ga a game and a half away from a, from a playing in a championship. So, uh, you know, that Bassett game stung, but it also showed us, too, that, you know, ha had we come to, had we had our heads on right and, and came to play from the outset, we, we would have we won that game. We just ran out of time. You know, and uh, we would been we'd have been you know been talking about a different story at this point. But yeah, that that just that's fueled me. That's fueled um, our staff. That's fueled the players. Um, everybody's locked in. Everybody's excited on campus. Admin, uh, teachers on campus. You know, everybody's excited about what, what what's to come uh, because we're so young. Like 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 you asked Akari, like who's returning? Our whole offensive line is returning. You know, our whole defensive line is returning. Um, most of our DBs are returning. We only lost like a handful of seniors, you know, really impactful seniors, but um, the, the young guys coming up, I think are going to, are going to definitely carry the load. And, and uh, you know, I'm excited, you know, I mean, we're, we're just going to make some noise. We're going to work really hard. We're going to try to make some noise, you know, and, and the goals are always the same, you know, uh, you know, beat your rival, win league, make the playoffs and who knows what happens from there. So coach, are you guys done with dead period? Are you guys just go straight into the season? We just finished dead period. So we took dead period uh, at the beginning of July. Um, and so uh, we yesterday was our first day back from dead period. So it was uh, a little clunky, but a um, little clunky. But, um, you know, I, I everybody just has to kind of get their, their their football legs back, you know, including me. Um, so, uh, you know, thank God we don't play a game for four weeks. So <laughs> we're in good shape. Yeah, before you know it, man, the helmets and pads will be coming up. But that is the good news. You got some yeah. time now uh, before you uh, you play your yeah. first game, which I believe you do have a week zero. Is that correct? We do. Yeah, we have zero week. We're playing at San Bernardino. Uh, so we're getting ready for them right now. Well, Coach Gonzalez, listen, congrats on last year. But, man, as we go into 2023, I feel like you guys have some unfinished business, uh, you know, coming up this year. Sure. Uh, just based on the success yeah. you guys are having, got some guys back, some key guys back. So congrats on last year, but uh, best of luck now going forward and, and uh, to the Thank upcoming you. season, Coach. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're not satisfied. We're still hungry. We want more. So keep your eye on us. All right, that's Coach Gonzalez and the Faux High Steelers here on the Inland Sports Show.
Thanks for clicking on this Inland Sports video. If you're a local business or an organization and you'd like to promote here on the Inland Sports Show, just send us an email, inlandsportsshow at gmail.com.